difficult to think. When I mm. move out of the hood, my mind was free. Mm. Like it was free to think and do things. I was risking 5000 rand which is part of those small percentage. Right. And then I came out with I think it was 7 What's up guys, it's Ngobi Tumbani from Top Trader South Africa and I'm bringing you guys another episode of Market Masters where I sit down with the most talented and prominent traders in the game and you find out the stories behind their successes. And a big shout out to our sponsor OctaFX, you guys will hear about that a bit later in the video. But for today, finally guys, finally, you guys <laughs> have been asking... Uh we try we really do try you know people make requests out here for certain yeah. traders to bring them on here and I think today yeah we 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 honestly do try to fulfill you guys' requests when you guys ask for a sp- particular trader and finally after speaking we've been speaking for some time though yeah, yeah back and forth <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I've got Austin in the building yes sir yeah no thank you so much for coming out uh for coming and, and I I think you're one of the first guests on market masters in our new studio space. Is it? Yeah. Uh, that's <laughs> yeah. that's perfect. You're perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Let's kick it off right. Yeah. yeah. No, thank you so much for coming out. Uh you're a trader, that's why you're here. Yeah. We're here to talk about the markets, your story, yeah. charts, you know, just trading, everything, everything <laughs> forex, trading. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, but like for those who don't know who you are because obviously like I said there's people yeah. who've been requesting for you to if you go to our comment section there on the other videos people are like Austin Austin <laughs> <laughs> you want Austin yeah, yeah 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 no but can you just give us a bit of background just introduce yourself to those who don't know who you are and I think yeah. we'll just get into that get into it from there okay so yeah. no, I'm Austin mm-hmm. right Sibabale uh, Changane that's my full name oh yeah right? so I'm Kosa Kosa oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. But where, yeah. Where? so Eastern. from Cape Town Cape, oh Cape Town yeah. Cape Town or Eastern not Eastern Born in Cape. Eastern Cape Born but Eastern I think Cape. at a young age I moved to Cape Town like oh, yeah. maybe I was maybe a one year old oh, or okay. few months so doesn't even count so it doesn't count for me <laughs> so yeah that's who I am and I was like grew up in Langa a township called oh, yeah. Langa it's a small township in Cape Town yeah. right one of the popular ones right uh, I grew up there yeah I mean and I studied high school in this other uh, school Maitland High I went to varsity as well then I dropped out <laughs> <laughs> The not life because of, I like the life of a not trainer. because school was hard. School oh, yeah? wasn't hard for me. Oh like, yeah, not at all. Mm. Like the only thing that was actually it wasn't hard. Like high school, mm. it was I was mid, like mm. average, like everyone fifty fifty five percent, forty seven percent there and there. Do you understand? Mm. But in varsity, I all my marks above ninety percent, mm. like in everything. Mm. But I only dropped out because I wanted to. I was like, yeah, I'm doing good in trading. Yeah, but I'm part timing. Do you understand? You're part-timing, but, you're part-timing at school? No, I'm part-timing in trading. In trading, oh yeah. But I'm oh, full-time yeah. in school. Oh yeah. So I was like, what if I give this thing a chance? Where will I be? Do mm. you understand? And then I asked a couple of people, obviously, like, who are studying what I study, like, um, where, where, what are you doing right now? Like, since you finished studying, what are you doing? Mm. I'm working at sports. And I was like, yeah, How? Nah, that's not my what goal. What were you studying? I was studying management. Management, in okay. In CPUT. Okay. Yeah. So I was like, hey, that's not my goal. I'm like, uh-uh. Then I asked another one. Then the other one said that um, his mom um, put him through a job. So I'm like, ah, that's connections. I don't want connections because <laughs> I don't have them. Do you yeah, understand? Yeah, I get it. And then I was like, 2020, and then I'm like, hey, sh- let me relax a bit. Like, let me, oh, I asked them if, can I come back anytime when it comes to school? And then they said, yeah, you can come back anytime. You're just going to give them maybe a reason, some sort of why mm. you didn't like, why you left I was like oh okay that's fine do you understand me I would say I was going through something <laughs> you understand <laughs> you understand
yeah, yeah, that. I so it. I took that gap year of 2020. Like mm-hmm. I was decided, hey, I, I'm not going to go to school. Yeah. Just want to test this thing out. Oh yeah. And I this is just work. this is a COVID. This was a year of COVID. Then exactly right? 2020, year COVID happened. I was like, ah, <laughs> perfect. I know it's bad for the yeah. world, but perfect yeah. for traders. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. And I think if anything <laughs> having to do with online mm. at the time, you know, even yeah. us for the channel, we saw our views go up for the first yeah, time. Yeah, because everyone is indoors. You know, everyone's trying to watch something, keep company. So yeah. So yeah, man, that's what I'm about. Yeah. That's me. That's, that's me. you. Just a bit of background. Yeah. Yeah. What, okay, so high school, you passed, went to varsity. But I'm I'm hearing you saying that you're part timing in trading and varsity. So mm. how did you get to that point of like what was your first interaction? Like when it comes to uh, trading, yeah, to trading. When it comes to, to trading, like what was your first interaction with like for oh, trading as a whole, not forex, but trading yeah. as a whole, yeah. On how I got into it. Yes. Oh, okay. I was introduced by someone actually, mm-hmm. a girl from who was studying at UCT. Oh yeah. Right. I think she was studying something that has to do with economics or something mm. like that but she was at the topic of forex trading mm. right on that thing and they were i think in their class they were getting into trading as well and then she was making money right she was making a lot of money like a lot <laughs> i'm talking about hundred thousand i was like yeah sure then she showed me uh, at first she showed me because she saw me that i'm a i have a hustler's mindset uh-huh. right so while I was studying, I used to take my NSFS money, yeah. right? And then I would give it to my neighbors, right? As a, like a loan shark. Really? Yeah. Because I'm hustling, <laughs> do you understand? Yeah. I'm hustling. Oh, so, Because yeah. the thing is, I live closer to school, so it was cheaper. So mm. I was like, nah, I don't need to eat, man. <laughs> so I'm getting like 1.5 mm. at um, NSFS. And then I was like, okay, if I can take like a certain amount, put it away just for transport, I'm not going to eat at school. I'm mm. just there to learn, come back. Do you oh. understand? And then I'll do that, right? And then I used to post like money, making money, like like posting. Like So wait, so you were... <laughs> That's before trading. <laughs> so you were posting like money you were making from being a loan shark. Yeah. And then she, I think she saw my status and then she was like... What do I do? And then I told that I do this. I borrow mm. my neighbor's money. And then she brings her friends yeah. that needs money. And okay. then I know in 15 days my money must be packed. Yeah. Do you understand? With the, with the profits as well. Oh, yeah. Do you understand? So did you ever... Did you, you probably had problems getting your money back sometimes. Nah. No, never. So, so they were good, like, were uh, good. debtors, <laughs> if I could put it like that. Yeah. Yeah. You see. Okay. And then from then, and then <clears throat> she told me that you should also try Forex trading. I was like, what's that? Do you understand? And then she was like, hey, she, she's not good with uh, teaching or explaining it, but she's going to send me a PDF that breaks down what is Forex trading, like the basics and everything. I was like, yeah, I'm fine with that. I can check it out. Do you understand? And then she sent me. Then I went, while I'm reading, I'm a person who likes money. <laughs> Do you understand? So I'm seeing currencies and yeah. money involved. So like I, I had that interest and then I started falling in love with it from there. Mm. Do you understand? And then she told me that, then I told her, I hear here they say strategy, like, where do I get strategies? Like, ah, you know, you're going to use mine. I'm like, I will. <laughs> like, where do I get? She was yeah. like, no, go to YouTube or something. I was oh, like, yeah. but she just wanted to introduce me to Forex trading. That's mm. what she wanted. Do you understand? Yeah. Because she was like, she's learning from someone overseas whose courses are very, very expensive. Mm. Like, I'm talking like $5,000. I was like, sure. yo, me, I don't have that money. Yeah. <laughs> Back then, yeah. do you understand? So yeah. maybe that's why she didn't even start to, like, give me the source. Mm. She just said, go to YouTube and learn. So you had to, you had to go be a man about it and go yeah. fend for yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, so what's that, what's that whole process, that whole journey? Because like, right now you're studying... Uh, you you've got money coming in, extra income coming in. We can call it. Yeah. We can call it that. And now you've been introduced to forex. Mm. Now we get into the part of now you've been introduced to forex. What do you do? What do you do about it? Because you were told go to YouTube or something. Mm. So what do you do about that? Yeah. So what I did is, um, I actually when I was studying trading, right? Mm. I know that a lot of people say like. Um, it takes time and stuff like that. Mm. Me, I'm a person who works smart, not hard, mm. right? So what I did is I broke it down into days, like learning the whole introduction. Mm-hmm. If you notice, a lot of people who are failing in trading is because they want to learn everything in what, from the get-go. So true. Do you understand it? So what I did, I used the same method I was using in school. So in school, the same method that I was using while studying, like I'll come back from school, I have a timetable that, okay, whatever I did in school, I must just revise it in two hours. Do you understand? Mm. And then I'm done. 
Now I have free time. Instead of going out with my friends, like chilling in the corner, I was like, nah, man, I'm too old for that. You mm. understand? Let me just focus on this. Do you understand? So now it's a new thing to me. I need to focus on it. Then I, that PDF, it was long, but I broke it down into days. Mm. Do you understand? Chapter one, I know that, okay, I see how long is it. I was like, okay, chapter one looks a bit long. So I'm going to break it down into two days. Do you understand? So my mind can get the information much easier. Mm. Do you understand? If you try to read everything in one day or try to... You understand? It's not going to work out. You're not going to understand some stuff. Yeah, because people are trying to get to that finish line so quickly. So that's what I always tell my student as well. So I made a PDF for them. I Mm. broke it down in the same way that I got successful in learning the basic information. Mm. Because I don't want my students to go back from strategy. They're going back to the basics. They don't know how to calculate pips. I don't want that for my students. <laughs> yeah. Do you understand? So I broke it down into days. So my PDF is like, I did it like in grades. Do you know how we study? Yeah, like in grade, grade one. So I know people, a lot of people do chapters, like chapter one. I was yeah. like, no, I don't want to do this. Do I want to do it in grades so they understand because we're in South Africa, right? So I did it in grades and stuff like that. So even when I came back from school, then I studied day by day, day by day, day by day, day by day. Then that's mm. how I, I got the information much easier. So it's much easier now to learn like something like a new strategy. I'm not gonna go back and forth with the what to call it, what the like basic information. Yeah, if you understand it. Yeah, no, I get you. So it's that. Okay, yeah. So you that that was ba- that was basically how you were learning uh, how to use. So you just broke it down in days. Yeah. Okay. So how do you? Okay. So now. You've set up like a some sort of curriculum for yourself yeah. to be like, okay, now I'm gonna learn like this. Uh, mm. How do you now take that the application of what you learned in, and then ap- apply it to real life scenarios now? Because like now you've learned, now you need to do something with the information, correct? Yeah. yeah. So you you could talking about back then. Yeah, back how then. I did. Uh, yeah, back then. Now uh, we 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 still back then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what I'll do is like what I'll do is like um. When I break it down, mm. so every time there's something practical, I will also also do it as well. Okay. Like that's how I broke it down into when they said on MetaTrader, I was like, what is MetaTrader? Go download MetaTrader. Do you yeah. understand? Like I'll read all the instructions, break it down piece by like step by step. Yeah. Me, I love simplicity. Mm. I'm a person of simplicity. Yeah. Do you understand? Even my students know that Austin <laughs> doesn't like too much stuff. Do mm-hmm. you understand? Me, I eliminate a lot of unnecessary things. Yeah. I'll also tell my students, guys, I know that a lot of people say, learn on YouTube, the strategy is there, but trust me, it's not gonna work out. Mm. Do you understand? It's not that easy. Mm. Because the thing is when you learn on YouTube, do you say, let's say you learn a certain strategy there on YouTube, do you notice that on the side you get recommended something else? Mm-hmm. You'll want to go watch that. So true. You've just watched a certain video that explains a different strategy. You see a recommendation. Hey, made two thousand dollars in one day. Check out this strategy. You <laughs> press that. It's a different strategy. Now yeah. your mind is getting messed up. Do you understand? So that's why I always recommend my students or anyone else actually like get a mentor. It doesn't have to be me. It's yeah. fine. There's a lot of mentors, right? Get a mentor. Someone who's gonna guide you. Then if that doesn't work, you see that this is not working. You can move to the next one, or you can try to study your charts yourself. Do you understand? You mm. can study your charts yourself. Because me, I always did that on some point on my growth. Like, why does the market turn here? I want to know. Mm. My answers are not going to be on YouTube. I want to know why does it turn here? Why okay. did it hit stop loss? Yeah. That's what I want to know. Yeah. Do you understand? That's a refining myself as well and refining the strategy of, okay, I did everything right. Why did I hit stop loss? Do you understand? And then I'll study the charts, find the answer. Oh, it's keep doing this certain pattern. Then I do it. Then I see how oh, it's working. Then I tell the students, guys, if this happened, do this. Now the strategy, if you notice, it's adjusting. It's getting better and better. So that's what I normally do. Mm. Do you see it? Yeah, no, I see it. I see it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's great. So we move now. Uh, obviously, you're doing everything practically now. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. You, you're doing everything. You're practicing what you've learned at this yeah, point. That's true. And I think... Uh, so do you? So did you start off with you started off with a de, with a demo account, correct? Of course. Yeah, and then <laughs> when did you start off with a live account? Your first live account. Mm. Yeah. Ah, that's a good question, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question because it reminds me of my first trading account. Okay. Right. So um, I I was I practiced for a month, like full. 
like mm. a, like one month full mm-hmm. like on a demo was that deliberate mm? was that deliberate yes. or you it was part but, of the it was part of the steps remember okay. i told you about the steps yeah. that do this do this do this also when i was learning the basics it told me that i must learn on the demo first okay. right so i took that with that advice and then i did that so i was like okay let me spend a month on this demo try to figure things out and work out something to understand and then i did that and then the other and then the following my oh yeah the last week and then i learned a certain strategy right i think that to do with the fundamentals like studying the fundamentals so at first i was a fundamental trader okay i was very good at it I'm oh, like yeah. <laughs> but the nice. thing is i got bored cuz news come now and then yeah, and then that's during true. the day i'm bored yeah. you understand like yeah I see people they making money but yeah me i'm bored cuz i'm a <laughs> fundamental trader do you understand <laughs> and then i'll like guess i said going to go up you understand do funny things at first <coughs> then i started telling myself that no man this thing needs its own strategy like technical analysis you understand so i was a fundamental trader then trader uh, demo practice see that okay i now know how to study news right it was an easy thing for me and then after studying the news i i funded I I waited for NS first to pop in. <laughs> I waited for yeah. NS first to pop in. NS first popped in. Uh obviously it's 1.5 mm-hmm. and then I think I funded like 400 rand that mm-hmm. I was willing to uh, risk. And then in, I traded it wasn't NFP it was the day of NFP that I traded. Yeah. But I didn't trade NFP. Oh yeah. I traded uh I think it was CAD. Right? I think it was CAD because yes. CAD unemployment rate, I think something like that. But okay. it's, it used to be released in the same day as NFP oh, back okay. then. Okay. Right. But now I see, it's, I think they change. Yeah. You understand? So I traded that, yeah, and I think I made it 1.8 in, was it 30 seconds? Yeah, 30 seconds. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and so so this seconds. was your first trade. First trade, like live. Sure. Like first trade live. Yeah. Do you understand? And I was like, yo. And my friend was doing a video and I was like, yeah, you must keep that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's that was the first thing. But now it didn't stop there. Okay. But the thing is, I was like, okay, remember I have a mindset of I don't trust this thing yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's my first time trading live. I still don't trust Forex yeah. yet. It must reflect my bank account. Okay. Do you understand? Then I'll think, oh, Forex is not a scam whatsoever. This thing is not playing around. Mm. And then I withdraw same day. Mm. I withdraw that 1.8. And then now I'm waiting. They said they're three days. Uh, it takes three days to reflect. Yeah, me, I'm waiting. And then Monday hits. Then I realize I'm on, supposed to hit. Then I saw all oh, business days. Yeah. Now I have to wait again. <laughs> <laughs> Then I had yeah. to wait again. So I waited. So now I'm in class. Yeah, looking at my phone. This thing is not reflecting <laughs> yet. I'm waiting for my 1.8 because and then there was news also on the Monday but I didn't trade because uh-huh. you wanted first I want the first <laughs> amount to reach my bank account before I fund another yeah. like a fund uh, more. Do you understand? And then that 1.8 hit I think on a Tuesday. Mhm. On a Tuesday morning I was in a taxi on the way to school and then it hit. I was like, yeah. Now I'm motivated to trade. <laughs> now I'm motivated to trade. And yeah. then from then I just kept going. I just kept going. I just kept going and trading. Yeah. What did you what did you do with your first profit? I think I refunded but mm. not all of it. Okay. Yeah. I obviously some profit neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> money must grow. <laughs> yeah. Money must grow. Yeah, you so you basically kind of had like an investor an investor's mentality yeah. for you know, when you actually didn't know you had it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cuz like true. a lot of people get money and be like, "Okay, I got to feel this money. I got to see mm. this money. I, go, I need to go spend this money." But yeah. you were like, "Ah." Uh-uh. <laughs> you understand? First. Yeah. So well, that that's that. But I think another thing that motivates me like to make money, I think it's background oh, that's yeah. with the background thing okay. like if you notice everyone was was a hustler like we all come from nothing like mm-hmm. most of us i can say yeah that's true we all always, always have that mindset of we want to make money mm. to understand and we don't want to get lost in it so we always have that mindset of want to make money but what's the motivation mm. your why is your motivation mm. why are you trading that's my biggest motivation family needs to be good do you understand it needs to be better my brothers need to be good they need to be better do you understand it's so always so in trading if you want to be like successful i can say like if you don't want to quit easily always remember why you are trading because mm. it's easy to quit i mean like yeah. hit stop loss today i'm done i'm done with this thing <laughs> blow one account 
I'm uh, done. It's over. Do you understand? <laughs> if you don't know why you are trading, like if, if there's no purpose, ah, I just want to make money so I can flex, you're going to quit. Mm. If you have that mindset of ish, I want to buy my mom a car, I want to buy my mom a house, I want my mom to be good, I want my dad to be good, I want my family to be good, do you understand? I want to build this, I want to break the generational curse, then you're not going to stop. Mm. Especially if you've seen that this potential that, hey, I did make money. Do you understand? Maybe I'm struggling with psychology. Maybe I'm struggling with that. So, you know, obviously there, there are things that you will need to work out. Do you yeah. see it? So the why is very important. Mm. Do you see it? On why you are trading. For yeah. example, you. Why are you doing the podcast? Do you understand? Yeah, there's a motivation behind that. 100%. 100%. You see it? There's, a, there's a huge motivation behind that. Sometimes it's a private motivation, mm -hmm. right? Some people don't have to know, like, what's the beginning. Maybe sometimes that why hurts to tell other people, but mm. you know deep down why you are doing it understand so that's the biggest thing that will make you a successful person sure that's powerful <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah Arche. yo okay um your time let's let, let's go with the timeline yeah i've got i've got a bit of a timeline over here <laughs> no, no stress no yeah, stress don't so worry your, your time goes now you're trading you're making profits yeah so what okay so you make your first profit after that you continue to trade you continue yeah. to trade life goes on so you essentially now you find yourself with uh, forex kings at some point yeah, yeah yeah how did that happen so so remember i told you that uh, was a loan shark <laughs> yeah and then i realized oh first here's another thing okay uh, i told my friends that hey guys let's do this thing do you understand people mm. in Joburg are making a lot of money out of this you understand and they're like yeah 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 let's do it and then i'm like okay fine remember I wanted everyone to win, do you understand? My whole team, like friends to win. And mm. then as time goes by, when the date comes that age, hey, guys, let me learn and then I'll come back and teach you guys, do you understand? And then, hey, when that day came, hey, people were like, yeah, hey, I, I did this with the money. So I think classes back then was like 10K. Yeah. With Forex Kings. Yeah. Like, it was like 10K. Yeah. Right. Me in the side, I have my own money. I have my own backup, but I just wanted them to win, mm. do you understand? And then I was like, ah, it's fine, gents, don't worry, it's fine. And then I learned on my own. Whenever a friend visits me, I'm busy with schoolwork. I just swipe the, 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 the Forex chart and I'm busy with schoolwork. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah, no, I'm I get busy it. with schoolwork. I get it. Because I, I don't want that thing of, are you making money now? Yeah. Do you understand? That pressure. That pressure. Mm. Even with my mom, I didn't tell her. No, I told no one, actually. Oh. I think that's another secret to success in trading. Okay. Especially these days. Mm. Like, don't tell no one. Mm. Like, just keep quiet. Do it. Talk when you're starting to make money. Because mm. now there's unnecessary pressure. Ah, you're trading. Ah, buy us a bottle of whiskey or something like that. <laughs> you yeah. just started. Do you understand? You just started, let's say, two weeks ago. So it was just that. And then I got the, the course at Forex Kings after some time. And then, yeah. And then I was mentored mostly by Tabiso, mm -hmm. by Goat. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. But he's very private. Yeah. He's very private these days. So got mentored by him. And then after that... I think I was a top student at Forex Kings. I was always helping students. Oh. It's more like, I think that's where the mentor thing came from <laughs> okay. as well. Like I always help students because I always have this thing of, if I like teach you something, it also gets into me. Mm. You understand it? Like mm. I also, like if you, for example, let's say you want to teach me how to set up this whole thing, yeah. right? At some point it, you're getting experienced out of that. Mm, Do you so see true. It? So I was starting like to, 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 show students how you do, this is how you do the strategy this is what i saw i think your setup is wrong do it this way mm. right and then or copy and paste my one right so you can get much better and then people see and then people i think most students at forest king saw a leader like in that thing like in me like they started saying how ah, Austin, you you always lead us every day yeah. do you understand you're always helping us and stuff like that i was like yeah and then jason reached out to me hey bro like i see what you're doing in the group thank you so much i'd like you to like become a mentor at Forex Kings. And I was like, okay, it's not a problem, right? Because I'm already used to it here. <laughs> you see it on what yeah. I was doing. And then from there, yeah, then he uh, flew me here, right? And then showed me around. And then, yeah, from then I was a mentor at Forex Kings. Oh, okay. You see it. And then after that, 2020, I was like, ah, I want to do my own thing. Mm. You understand? No, perfect. <laughs> no, you, you know, you mentioned you from I Ilanga. Mm. Yeah, so I don't know Cape Town like that, but Langa. I know I know the, the it's a township. 
Yeah. Yeah. No, I know uh, townships that side tend to be rough. Yeah. So what what kind of town? What what kind of place is Ilanga? Um, oh, is I feel just, like it's just any other castle. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, every castle, I feel like it's rough. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Okay, that's true, that's so, true. I feel like it's it's just like any other mm. uh, castle. Remember in Kasi, the, it, it's very difficult to make it out. Yeah. If you make it out, I feel like you're one of the 1%. Let me put it that way. Yeah. If you make it out. Because remember, in a Kasi, it's rough. Mm -hmm. It's easy to be influenced. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's go drink. Mm. Instead of you focusing on your goals. So you have to make a decision. So sometimes that decision can be tough because remember it's tough because you are easily influenced on what we like on how we grew up. Do you understand? Sometimes some people grew up with the mindset, ah, me, I'll never make it. I'll, I'll, I'll die in the hood. Hmm. Some people have that mindset already. Do you understand? So every class is rough. Yeah. And tough. But what motivated you right, to make there, it out? To make it out, because there's, <laughs> there's a lot of people uh, from yeah. from the Cassis locations mm. uh, who are trying to make it out, but don't know how. Yeah, yeah. I think me. I think it started from that um, hustler's mindset mm. that just shows that I want to make it out. It started with more like I want to take care of my family, so it starts there. Obviously, the 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 motivation grows. I want a house. I want to buy a house for my family. I want to buy this for my family. I want them to be good. Do you understand? So, and then it grows. Then you realize, I want to get out of the hood. Do you understand it? So that motivation grows from there. Do you see it? Mm. So it's, it's just like that. It's just like that. Yeah. So okay. it's, I think it's based on motivation growth. Mm. If you want to stay in the hood, you want to stay in the hood. If you get motivated to a point of, I want to move out of the hood, then you need to work harder to move out of the hood. Find something. It doesn't have to be trading. Find something that will work for you and then work towards that. Focus on that business idea, whatever it is, and then work on it for a couple of years or months, depending on you and how you, hard you're working on it, and then see where it takes you and then move out. Mm -hmm. And then, Because what I realize is that when I'm in the hood, it's sometimes difficult to think. When I move mm -hmm. out of the hood, my mind was free. Mm -hmm. Like... It was free to think and do things. Yeah. Do you understand it? Like, it was very free, man. Yeah. Like, no one was coming at me. Hey, let's go out. Uh-uh. Mm. None going, of that. Going to do lotion management. <laughs> <laughs> None of that. Yeah. So, yes. yeah, because, like, you know, you, you speak about the influence, and it's so true. That influence is so prominent, especially, like, in a hood setting. Uh, not just the hood, hood gassy, guys, but like just where you grew up. Yeah. You know, you find people want to chill by the corner shops. We, we, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we're getting old for that. Yeah, hey, too old for and that. And it's getting dangerous outside for that. 100%. 100%. Yeah. So, okay, now let's go back to, okay, so you decided to start your own thing. We've got yeah. consistency FX, FX now. Yeah. Yeah. So you start your own thing there. You're still in Cape Town right now. Where you in Joburg now? Sides. Both sides. Okay. Mm -hmm. Forex must be must have been treating you good at <laughs> yeah. this point. But in Joburg, I come just to relax. Okay. But mostly, I think now, mm. just for this year, I'm here. Okay. But I am up and down. Yeah. But mostly, um, I spend my time here. Oh, okay. Here, I don't know anyone, so I'm relaxed. <laughs> Do you understand? Um, nah, I get you. I'm focusing on myself, yeah. basically. Because when I was in Cape Town, age, every day I'm out. Mm. Let's say after trading, I stay close to the mall, waterfront. Yeah. I go to the mall. I'm bored. Do you understand? <laughs> go to the mall, shopping, come back. Do you understand? So I was out. Mm -hmm. So, and then at night, so I have a friend who's a DJ. So at night, he will tell me, hey, I have a gig. So I'm like, oh, okay, it's fine. Let's I'm not go. doing anything. Yeah. Do you understand? So, just that. Then I realized, hey, man, no, man, I want to focus on certain goals. So I don't want to go out. I want, I want to, I don't want to be, I want to be in a, I don't want to be in a comfortable uh, zone. Do you understand it? Then I was like, wait a minute. Every time I go to Joburg, I get motivated because I see a lot of black people making money. Mm. Where I stayed in that building, where I stayed, like in Cape Town, there's white people. Mm. There's no, there's no closer people where I can say, hey, brother, grand. Do you understand? <laughs> It's always, hey, how are you doing? I'm good in you. Like, let's say I'm meeting up in the lift. Do you understand? Yeah. They're like, there's no, I want my kind of people. Okay. Black. Do you yeah. understand? And white people in return. Mm. Do you understand? So, and then I, I realized that, ish, I looked around, like at some point I looked around like, where are my people? Mm. Do you understand? Where they are. Then I realized every time I come to Joburg, I see them. Mm. Oh, yes, black successful. That's good. That's what I want. That motivates me. Do you understand? 
this motivates me. And I was like, okay. And I always have this thing. Every time I'm in Joburg, I want to work. Like, okay. I want to do more. <laughs> do you understand? Yeah. Then I was like, okay, I'm taking a decision. I'm moving. Mm. Do you understand? I want to focus on certain goals. So let me just move to Joburg and see how it how it goes. Different atmosphere. Yeah. So I'm out of my comfort zone. Yeah. Do you understand? When, when did you start making money? According serious to you, money. Yeah? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't want to get to the serious... Like, when did you actually start... Okay, let's go to serious money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when did you start making money? Because, you know, I'm I'm trying to work up to the point of when you started, con- um, what do you call this, uh, consistency FX. Um, I want to get to that point. But just around the point, obviously you were making Before money the, yeah. around, around that period. Yeah. yeah. So money's coming in, life is changing. Yeah. yeah. What are some of the changes that are happening in your life right now because of uh, Forex? Yeah. So um, basically... How can I put it? Like when I started making like serious money, mm. is that the question, right? <laughs> yeah, let's go with it. <laughs> um, I feel like it was first. It was before twenty twenty, okay, which is twenty nineteen, yeah, right. And then I started trading. Is it late twenty eighteen? Yeah, late twenty eighteen, around these dates, October, mm. November. That's when I started, and then serious money came like twenty nineteen, like also later twenty nineteen as well and I was like that's when I started thinking hey I'm making money here mm. 2020 is coming should I drop out of school should I give it a oh, pause I see. if forex doesn't work then I can go back yeah. that's why I started uh, interviewing those people who studied what I studied mm. just to see how far they are in life and if you can go back to school and then I was like okay I'm making money here then back then it was like 5,000 a mm. day 2019 3,000 there and there mm. 7,000 big days can be like 10,000 you understand? Mm. That was uh, 2019, yeah. right? And then that's where also Jason reached out to me, mm-hmm. right? And be like, hey, bro, I see you doing good. Uh, don't you want to, like, mentor at Forex Kings? And then I was like, yeah, fine. And then 2020, uh, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to school. Doing my own thing. <laughs> do you understand? I'm going to do my own thing. Then I started uh, Consistency FX, mm-hmm. right? And, yeah, after I started it, a lot of bag came started coming in. Yeah. Because <laughs> now I'm focused. I think what helped me a lot is COVID. Okay. Because market was more volatile. Mm-hmm. If it goes my direction, it goes. Like a lot of pips, it goes. Yeah, it doesn't play. Do you understand? <laughs> so, and then, but during 2020, I started making back, five, I funded 5,000 rand, mm-hmm. right? And then took it to 40K the next week. Right, and then from 40K, I was like, I'm not going to withdraw. Because mm. as traders who don't grow, if you, if you want to grow as a trader, have a trading plan. Yeah. Right. Because if you don't want to grow, then you're going to deposit 1K, make 1K, take it back. Deposit 1K, make 1K, take it back. You're not going to grow. Mm. You're going to do that same thing over and over. So I was like, from 40K, where are we going? 50. From 50, where are we going? 100. Mm. So then I started to grow, grow 10K a day, 20K a day, 40K a day, 100K a day. I think the biggest in that 2020 yeah. that I made was in a day was I think 216 or 13,000 rand. Sure. And I think what I liked about COVID, even though it was bad for the world, is that I was focused. There's nothing else to do. Mm. You wake up, you trade. Mm. Do you understand? You're bored. You can't go outside. Mm. Do you understand? You, c- you can't be like, oh, I messed up on this trade. I missed this trade because I was outside. You are not outside. <laughs> you are indoors. Yeah. So I think that's another thing that grew, that made me like make a lot of money. And I can't spend it. Mm. <laughs> that's another thing. <laughs> and I can't spend it because yeah. shops are closed during COVID. Mm. Do you understand? And then... I think I think most successful traders come out when it when there's like a some sort of a recession as well. Oh yeah, like that's most true. investors, traders, big companies. It's a make or break for a lot yeah, of people. It's a make and yeah, it's a make and break for a lot of people. Mm. Like average people, normal people go to work. Yes, it affects them badly. Hundred tough. Yeah. Do you understand? But you will find that hey, companies they have certain insurances. <laughs> do you understand? They might say to their people, hey, we got hit bad by COVID, but they claimed a lot of money. Mm. Do you understand? Because they'll they will write down, we lost this and this and this. They'll have insurances, so they will claim money. Do you understand? So, and for traders, we are indoors, we're making money. Mm. Do you see it? Yeah. So you, you're talking about 
5,000, 8,000 a day, what not. Yeah. Yeah. How, 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 how do we get to that point? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's growth, yeah. right? And that excitement that, yeah, it's happening now. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. Like you just feel like, yeah, I want to do more. I want to push. Yeah. Right. So you, are, you, you switch from fundamental trading to technical, to te- technical trading. Yeah. Now you're busy, focused on technicals. Yeah. You were doing a day trader. Were you day trading? Yeah, both tra- actually swinging okay. and day trading. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're just withdrawing, and that money is coming in. Yeah. Yeah, and I let I ask everyone this question because it's so important. Because there's so many viewers out there who don't understand when money starts coming in. Eh, life, life changes changes the whole lot. <laughs> it really does. Yeah. It really does. And I think so many people, you know, and I, I ask this for a lot of viewers because I really want people to be better prepared, be in a better headspace, know mm. that, hey, look, I'm manifesting to get this money. Yeah. But by the time this money comes, I must have listened to a lot of people talk about what to do when money comes in. Like money management. I, exactly. Yeah. Money management, my favorite topic yeah. of all things. <laughs> <laughs> money management for me I feel like it's the secret to yeah. to being a successful trader because if you yeah. know how to manage your money off the charts you know how to manage it yes, on the that's charts true. yeah that's so money is coming in for you what are you doing with the money now so obviously me like I have some sort of a management uh, money management system right which is it's dividing the money that comes in mm. right for needs I do 50% to 60% obviously it's not going to be <laughs> like the whole 60%, do yeah. you understand? And then for fun, I have a fun account. So fun account is like 15%. I think 10 to 15%, mm. do you understand? So when I buy designers, mm. Gucci, mm. Off-White, all oh, these yeah. certain things, <laughs> it's just 15%, mm. do you understand? So I don't go like, ah, just because I can. Oh, yeah. Many management, many management is important, mm. do you see it? And then I have an um, investment account. So on that one, it's like... um. Uh, buying things that develop me books mm. let's say certain books right if it's not books it's funding my accounts again do you see it mm. so that's investment i don't invest in a bank oh, i don't yeah. have time for that <laughs> sorry but i don't have but, time but yeah i mean i mean, like i do what they do yeah do you understand it yeah Obviously. just do it a little bit better yes. with your own money <laughs> i can't wait for five percent for my money yeah for 12 months mm-hmm. where I know that I that I can make in a day yeah that's true I can true. make 5% in a day that's you understand? true so that's how some people are mm-hmm. they believe that uh, investing in a bank is a way but some people are scared so invest in yourself start a business you'll mm. make better like let's say you have 100k right and then instead of waiting for 5% a year invest start a business with that 100k it's gonna make more than that 5% mm. no matter what it is so true. Do you see it, especially yeah. especially if it's a good idea. Hundred percent. You see it. <laughs> it's gonna make way more. Yeah. So I have this, uh, and then there's needs, wants, mm-hmm. um, investment. I have it on my phone actually. Okay. So it's yeah, it's like every percentage is divided. Okay. I think investment is like thirty uh, percent. Mm. So whatever I make in trading mm-hmm. comes in, gets split. Mm. Easy. Okay. No, that's so great. if I if I see that a. Hey, I'm motivated to buy something, it's a want, mm-hmm. that means I must make more money. <laughs> you understand? Because <laughs> I'm not going to take money in the needs to buy a want. Okay. Do you understand? it? Yeah. So that's very important when you, and that thing you can start it now. Mm. Because when you're making my big bucks, it's going to, like when you start making a lot of money, you need that thing. Mm. So start now, build a habit out of it now with mm. your thousand rand that you're making or whatever amount that you're making. Start now. Mm. divide it mm. if you see that yeah my fun account which is 10 percent, is there's only 100 rand there tell your friends i'm not going out yeah that means you <laughs> must work harder so that your fun gets bigger do mm-hmm. you understand so you can go out so mm. build that habit right now do you see it yeah so once you do that when the money comes it's not going to be a surprise yeah no that's true you 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 you, it seems like you've always had a good uh head on your shoulders (laughs) especially about managing money and all that and and i think that's really important and yeah and i hope your people look up to you as well you know and i also want to talk about uh new traders that are still coming in the game Mm. looking up to other traders yes what are some of the things that we should uh, uh that the new traders should be taking and some of the things they should be ignoring 
like uh, when it comes to like, looking up to traders yeah because a lot of people mm. yes me, me I always there were the there's always a couple of students that i mean not, even if it's not student like uh, people on instagram they'll message me on facebook they're like oh Austin, um, how, what can i do to you understand like the mm. same question that you ask me me I always tell them guys once you get a mentor delete social media mm. that's what i always tell them because you'll get unnecessary pressure yeah. that will make you feel like you're not going anywhere do you understand you'll see people posting ah uh, doing this doing that and and there's a lot of people now that feel like they are editing yeah. i don't know how they do it <laughs> but, do you understand so yeah. it's just unnecessary pressure even because i saw i think there's someone who does graphic design or okay. something like that he was showing uh, how traders edit profits and oh, in the, what, in what, the back end in the uh, back end uh, the, the dashboard like, yeah, yeah i was yeah, like hey, I people have that, I time <laughs> i was like people have time yeah. is this because of pressure do you understand mm. so for new traders don't focus too much focus on that yes trading makes money mm-hmm. and have the mindset of yes i want to be successful out of it right i want to be good in it and remember your why remember we talked about the why mm. that keep that why right don't be like i want to trade because austin is making money so that's my why no your why needs to be deeper than that do you understand it so once you do that and then you focus on yourself delete social media especially if you want like get a mentor so you can focus because people these days they spend a lot of time on social media yeah. do you understand like social media it, it i feel like it's made for that yeah. like for us to be st- Sticking too much into it, 100%. and it gives pressure, unnecessary pressure. Do you understand? And it's addictive. Yes. Do you understand? <laughs> Me sometimes I always fight the addiction. Okay. Do you understand? <laughs> so I also fight the addiction as well. That's how that shows how dangerous it is. Mm. And and yesterday I was watching this other sh- thing on Netflix. Uh, what is it? The social dilemma or something like okay. that. I forgot the name of it. And. The guys that made I think Facebook and Instagram Oh yeah I know yeah I've watched that actually They said that they were also addicted to it when they come back home they mm. scrolling which is what they want they were like how can I create something but it still gets me addicted I was like yo imagine us the average consumer do you understand yeah. it yeah so that show, just shows how addictive we can be and also another thing that shows that we are too addictive on social media we think we don't have time but we do Hmm. Do you see it? I once met a student. Um, actually, that's that that was before that um, that guy was a student, right? Okay. We were in my office in Cape Town, so he was like, "Ish, um, I'm studying. I don't have time. Tri- uh, I don't think I'll have time for trading." Hmm. And then I asked him, "Do you have social media?" He said, "Yes." I was like, "Do you spend a lot of time?" He's like, "Nah, it's not a lot of time." I was like. Can you go on your phone, go to settings, go to screen time and go to social media, socials. It's going to show. And then when when I sh- when they wrote down six hours a day, I w- then I asked him, you do have time. Yeah. You just need to spend it where it's necessary. Mm. You're going to come back to social media. But sometimes you need to focus on your craft and then come back to social media. That's fine. Mm. Do you understand? Because social media is very addictive. Mm. Do you understand? And then he started living, yeah. I didn't notice. Do you understand? <laughs> Because we are all in the screen. Yeah, Do you that's understand true. It? That is so true. So always as a new trader, my advice is focus on yourself. Delete social media, right? You're already motivated that, yes, trading makes money. That's the motivation already. Mm. Focus on yourself. Focus on the strategy. Break down the, the information. Do you understand? Break down the information into smaller pieces, right? Don't eat the whole pie like mm. just like that, right? break it down into smaller pieces you're going to understand the information much better right because once you try to understand a lot of thing in one day or a week things are not going to work out when you're learning the strategy so yeah. you're going to learn the strategy let's say the strategy is talking about pips you're like hey what is pips again now you must go back to the basics to mm. understand you don't want that back and forth as a mm, person if we moved out of grade uh, primary school we're in high school we can't go be like ish hey, What is ABC again? Now we're going back to yeah. primary school. Do you understand it? That means we need to focus on on uh, on that certain topic on that day. Till you understand it, you move to the next one. Mm. Don't move to the next one just because you just read it and you're done reading it. Do you understand? That's what, that's what most people do. Mm. You see, they just read through. Yeah. They just want to get to the money part, but they don't understand. When you get to the money part, it will require information from the primary school i can say <laughs> basic yeah, information 100%. do you see it mm. so they must just focus on themselves 
keep going, don't feel pressure, be private, because a lot of people will think that's because you started trading, you're already making money by next week. Yes. Then they'll bring unnecessary pressure and you will want to prove a point that, yeah, I'm yeah, a forex trader, they so <laughs> me. Do you understand? <laughs> the next thing now, you are making unnecessary decisions mm. based on your emotions on the chart. Mm. Now that has to do now with psychology. Okay. Do you understand? So now you make unnecessary decisions, you are in a rush, your strategy is saying don't buy yet, you're like, mm, what if I buy? Do you understand? <laughs> because you now want to make quick buck mm. to prove them in the weekend that ah, I'm a baller. Yeah. You saw me, I'm a trader. Do you understand? You saw, you saw everyone then posting things, blue screens mm, on, on Instagram. Now things there. are not going to work out. Now you must also be part of understand? the people posting blue screens. Because another thing in this industry, I've seen mentors making their first 500 rand and then they'll be like, ah, mentorship 1.5. Hey boy, just relax. You just started. You just made you your just, first. You just arrived, <laughs> chief. You just arrived. Do you understand? Yeah. Like I've seen those things. I'm like, hey boy. You know this person just like when I see the conversation, hey boy, I'm starting this new journey of trading. Blah blah mm, blah blah blah. Mm. And then now I'm like, oh, you made your first five hundred. Okay, fine. We are well done. Keep pushing. Hey, next thing I'm seeing the next day, mentorship one thousand. Hey boy. <laughs> <laughs> I was I, like, you just started. You know, I, I, I don't know what it is, though. I mean, I don't, people are hustling out here, you know, at the end of the day. <laughs> people are hustling, and the hustle is real. <laughs> They'll be like, hey, I can show people I made 500 grand. And it, it happens. First, mm. It happens a lot, you know, a lot. I, I've also found myself in situations where, you know, you just see somebody now, like, now they've got a course as a group. We're like, hey, oh. And you're in the group now. You're like, how? <laughs> Wasn't this guy, when we were not talking last week. Mm. He's like, yo, okay. <laughs> and now next thing, Chiggy Chiggy, you're posting big profits there. You're like, ha. Ah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're talking about that. You know, uh, you uh, you spoke about s social media, you know, and the pressures that come with it. Yeah. But now I think that has somehow. Um, fed into the idea that some people have accepted gambling as trading or yes. trading as gambling. I don't mm. know which direction yes. needs to go, but you understand yes. people have kind of accepted that, hey, look, doubling accounts is a normal thing. Mm. And mm. That's a good topic. <laughs> it, it, I, it's not a normal thing. Yes, yeah. it, can, you can probably, it could probably happen. It could probably happen every day. Obviously, when you manage your money correctly. That's true. But... It is not a normal thing to double an account, you mm. know, and I think that is what's holding a lot of people back. So many people back. Let me get yes. your two cents on that: <laughs> trading versus gambling. Yeah. So here's the thing, man. I've seen a lot of people in the industry, a lot of forex traders, right? They doubling accounts. Mm. I used to do that. I'm okay. not gonna lie. I used to flip accounts like nobody's business. Yeah. And then when the numbers get bigger, I'm talking when the numbers get bigger. I'm not talking about 10k or 100,000 rand. I'm talking when the numbers really get bigger. Mm. Your mindset needs to shift. Mm. Like it shifts. Do you understand it? But the thing is, when you do that thing of flipping, 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 do you realize that it's just risking too much? It's going all in. Mm. What if things go, don't go well? That's that's when you are gambling. You are not a trader. Mm. I, I think you don't deserve credit to be called a forex trader when you do that. Yeah. Be honest, I don't care if you have 100,000 followers or whatsoever, mm. or they're calling you the best forex trader, but I'm not going to give you that credit, right? Best forex traders, I know that we use risk management. I'm saying we because I'm, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I and use you, risk management. 100%. <laughs> do you understand? Yeah. So we use risk management, a proper one, right? This thing of doubling accounts, I think it's something that, People hide it as well, hey? Mm. Like I've seen certain people who will fund 5,000 rand and then they take 1K when they see one trade. They, I think they transfer. I think yes. that's what South African brokers do. Okay. Uh, me, I use international ones. I don't Inch. use South African brokers. Inch. Shout yeah. out to the sponsor, international. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Yeah. So that's a good broker as well. You yeah. see, because it's international, yeah. right? So the thing is... Um, that thing of then they move the money to the specific account, then they go all in. Mm. If things don't work out, obviously they're not going to post that. I don't think they post that mm. when things don't work out. No, they don't. When things work out and then 1K, <laughs> screenshot, blue. Do you understand? 
That's yeah. what most people do when they're flipping these accounts, which is misleading a lot of people. Mm. You understand? Me, I risk 1% to make 20%. Mm. Me, I risk 1% to make 10%. You mm. understand? Or that's my biggest risk, 1%. But mostly I risk half a percent on my account, right? Mm. And then on that half a percent, I'm willing to make like, let's say 10%. Okay. You understand? Or 5%. But it depends on the how the market is on my targets. Yeah, but what can you say to somebody who doesn't have your your pockets? Because mm. obviously, like <laughs> <laughs> the pockets are different. Yeah, you know, as someone new coming into the game, he's trying to make it out the hood. Mm. What 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 do you say to them in that case? Because I you know I do understand because all of them want to go all in. Exactly, yeah. and I do understand this culture of flipping accounts. I understand it fully. Yeah, you it's know? a good thing, but ish. It's all time and game. It's all fun and games until it does the opposite. Yeah, because it, it, it's not sustainable long yes. term. But what? Because you saying right now you risk one percent. You know you're in a position right now to only risk one percent. Your one percent is probably someone's whole hundred <laughs> percent that yeah. they have right there. And like now that guy's like no, because I think the beauty about forex is um is that we take small money and turn and it, into, it yes. and, and turn into big money. Mm. That's the beauty of Forex. Yes. And I, and I think that's one thing, obviously, that's put a lot of people on. Mm. But, you know, how can somebody now with like that 100% of their funds saying, that, hey, look, I want to make it out the hood. Mm. What steps can they take? I think it's risk management first. But how can you risk but manage? How, how can you risk manage when yes. you only have? Here's the thing, <laughs> yeah. right? If you, from the get-go, mm. As remember, as I said, did it social media. If from the get go, like when you're starting with your demo and all those things, mm. right? Because this is what I've realized, right? If from the get go, like let's say you had a thousand rand funded account, and you use risk management from the get go without any pressure, you see someone flipping an account, mm. right? It's much easier for you not to be influenced to do the same thing with your thousand rand. Do you understand it? Remember, there's a lot of ways you can use, uh, there's a diff different methods of risk management. Do you understand it? Trading plan. Trading plan, risk management, just get those. Because here's another, here's another secret that I feel like it's something that people don't know. Do you know that it's what I've seen actually based on my experience. Mm. Like, you know, psychology is a huge topic when it comes to trading. Yes. And emotions and all those things. But I've realized that Psychology can be easily, yes, I'm saying easily defeated when you're doing proper risk management. Hmm. Do you understand okay. it? Do you get it? No. When you do proper risk management, okay, right, and follow your trading plan, yeah, be disciplined about it. I know discipline has to do with psychology, but be disciplined about it from the get go. Hmm. You're gonna realize you're not gonna make silly decisions because hmm. psychology comes with, and yeah, we start making silly decisions. Yeah, I just made my daily target. I see another opportunity. Hey, let me go in. Do you understand? Psychology is kicking you right now. Mm. Do you understand? So if you follow risk management, right, it's easy to defeat psychology, right? So also I have like, um, me, I have 20 questions that I normally like read out to myself okay. per trade, but I do it at night, mm. right? 20 questions per trade. How was I feeling when I was about to enter a trade? Sure. Uh, exit price, did I exit manually or did I wait for it to hit take profit? Mm. Did it hit stop loss or did I close it myself? Answering those questions will help you. I also send it to my students as well. It will help you to see what type of trader you are. Mm. Do you understand it? Then you will start to see that I need risk management. Risk management is the only way to defeat psychology. Do you see it? Once you start doing it, you're going to see it. Because mm. psychology comes with, ah, you're just doing whatever. You're based on your mind, being greedy, all that. If you follow a trading plan, you're not going to be greedy because your trading plan says, we're making a drawdown, we're willing to lose 5% today. Now, if you focus on that, you're not going to be greedy because psychology comes with greediness and because a lot of things happens in our mind. Mm -hmm. Do you understand it? So that's what normally happens. So defeating psychology, just do risk management, trading plan, Try by all means to focus because I know as traders we have two minds. The one that says, Hey, don't worry about risk management, man. Just go in. Do you understand? Then there's one that says, No, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> do you understand it? Yeah. 
Then there's the other side. They said, no, just use risk management. So mm. you need to be strong on that. Mm. If you use risk management, it's easy to defeat psychology because you'll, that risk management will become a habit. Mm, mm, now, mm. when it becomes a habit, I, you've defeated psychology. Yeah. Because psychology, I feel like it's one of the hardest things that uh, a trader's experience. Mm. Like, it's very hard. Mm. Do you understand? I'm not going to lie. It's very hard. Yeah, you, <laughs> you've got an accent in your voice. <laughs> <laughs> a, kind of, a, a bit of a colored <laughs> accent. In your I think voice. it's a Cape Town thing. <laughs> Yeah, um, mm, you know, uh, you, yeah, you spoke about um, needs and wants. Yeah. You know, uh, how does one understanding needs and wants? Mm. Mm. I feel like, I think I, people have done that in high school and in, in, yeah, in grade real, eight. I want, I want to talk about, yeah, I <laughs> yeah. know, those are like, you know, textbook <laughs> the, stuff, real yeah. life stuff from your life, you know, mm. having to be like, you know, I, I understood, you know, because right this now you said you, you 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 put away, uh, you put um, 50% of what you make, uh, your profits. As needs. As needs, mm. you know, needs obviously. But they're not going to reach that whole amount. Yeah. It's just there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see. And then once you've got a, po- a certain portion to yeah, that. an emergency. An emergency fund and all mm. that, you know. But the thing is why I'm asking that is that, you know, you know, I, I really want to put people in the best position mm. to succeed. That's the purpose of this yeah, podcast. Yeah, Legit. Yeah. Like, really, when people watch here, like, I want them, by the time they're done, it's like, okay, nah. Mobile, Mobile and Austin spoke about one, two, three. Actually, mm. they're speaking nonsense. <laughs> actually, oh, they were actually making sense there. Okay, yeah. shut up, we heard them, you know, and things like that. So hence, I always ask these also questions that are not particularly related to trading, but related to life in general, as yeah. to like you know, and things not, change. You know, it's not just all about um, chats, chats, chats. Your all life, the time. your life matters. What happens in your life matters. Yeah. yeah. So okay, let me just let me move on to the next question because uh, yeah, but you did touch on the needs. You did touch on yeah. the wants. You did. Nah. Yeah. Um, trading with a stop loss. Do you trade with a stop loss? Of course. Why? It's management. Yeah, that's risk management for you. Simple. Because everything, every trade I take is well calculated. Okay. Right. Remember, remember we just touch up on psychology. Mm. You don't trade with the stop loss, your psychology is going to be messed up. Because when you go in a loss, you'll be like, should I close? Should I let it run? Mm. Ah, it's going to come back. Mm. Do you understand? So, and also if you don't put a stop loss, I feel like that's just you not knowing your limits. <laughs> Do you understand? Because as a trader, I mean, like, we've all learned in the basic that stop loss is this. Yeah. It means you skip that topic, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Do yeah, you understand? nobody wants to learn about it's it. So stop, loss is, stop loss is uh, apparently it's holding people back. Do you understand? Yeah. S- put stop loss. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about who, who and who didn't use stop loss and they flipped money. Mm. Maybe they have a backup. Remember, you can't compare yourself with other traders because we come from different backgrounds. Mm. You don't know if someone has a different, uh, you know, let's say a father is a what, what. Here, my child, you want to start trading? Here's 10K. Go ahead. Keep trying. Oh, you blew it. Here's another five. Keep trying. So you can't compare yourself with everyone because we come from different backgrounds, Mm. different hustles. Mm. Do you understand? So I feel like that's that. So don't compare yourself. You see it. So, yeah. Are you, are you, are you, are you chase, are you currently chasing your dream? Yeah. Are you living your dream? I feel like, yeah, hey, that's a good <laughs> question. Eh? Here's the thing, man. I feel like when you are making money and growing as a person, mm. like you make money to a certain point and then like, nah, one more. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to do that. So we keep chasing these dreams. Mm. If this person said, yeah, I want to do so you keep chasing. It needs this, you do, oh, it needs this, it needs this, it needs that. Okay, fine. Now you keep chasing. But I think the only time I'll be living my dream is, I don't know, when everything is complete, businesses are there, everything mm. is there, everything is there, mm. trading is going well and everything. Mm. I think that's the time when everything is automated. <laughs> do you understand? When yeah. things are flowing. Yeah. Do you understand? It's the only time I think I'll live my like dream. Yeah. Because people always ask me, how do you feel... I, about uh, living your dream, I'm like, hey guys, I'm not surprised. Because people think that when you, let's say for example, um, let's say, how was your first million? I'm like, I don't know. Because it was part of my goal. Mm. So when I reached it, 
before reaching it, when I was close by, there was another goal popping up. Mm. Do you understand? So when it, when I got there, I was like, I, I'm looking at the other goal. Reaching that one million is part of my goal. Do you understand? So at some point, it's not like I want it. If I want it, I was going to be up and down the streets, excited, you understand, dancing you know, and all that because I want it. I didn't work for it. When you work for something, it's part of your goals. When you reach that goal, you're not going to be surprised, mm. but you're just going to be grateful. Yeah. and move to the next goal. Mm. Do you understand? Because a lot of people always ask, how did you feel when you... I felt nothing. <laughs> I just felt like grateful that, yeah, now, next goal. Yeah, Do you understand? keep moving. We, we keep moving, but because this was just the first phase. We need to move to the next because there are businesses, ideas that need to be done. There are certain things that need to be done. Do you understand? Mm. So we need to move. We can't be dancing around on this one. Do you understand? Mm. So... So that's that, man. Yeah. Because that's what people always ask. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> and the cost of chasing a, a dream, mm. uh, how high has, has the price been for you? Mm. Or what, what are some of the things that you that you feel like have been a cost to you having to give up certain things? Like in terms of like um, sacrifices? Yeah, sacrifices. I think sacrifices was like just limiting myself from everyone. Mm -hmm. Like just focusing on the charts and everything, because hey, it's the source. You know, understand mm -hmm. that will mm -hmm. make me this person I want to be in terms of like making money. Mm -hmm. You understand? So sacrifices are made. There wasn't much actually. Yeah. Rather than just isolating myself and okay. trading, like away from my friends, just just that distraction till I make it or something. Mm -hmm. You understand? Or till I get this right. Those are the first sacrifices that I made. Do you understand? Because mm. hey, it's fun outside. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to be around your friends, but at the same time, we are getting old. Yeah, you that's true. We're getting old. We need to make sacrifices. Spend a lot of time in trading. If you don't want to sleep, it's exciting you. Do that. Mm. You understand? As long as you're gonna have energy. Yeah. Do you see it? Yeah. No, I get you. So let's 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 go to the charts. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only get in there now. Uh, what is your daily trading routine? Um, normally I wake up, shower, make tea, read a book, like 15, 20 minutes, mm. a few pages, and then go to the chart. Particularly uh, is it a trading book or mm -hmm. just a book? No, nah, just, just, yeah. just a book. Yeah. I don't, um, I feel like trading books, they're just telling me like <laughs> what I know. <laughs> Like in terms of yes, they are good books. They okay. are they are good books. But I've read a lot of them, right? While reading a lot of them, I realize, hey man, this is me. Let's say for example, you're reading a book based on psychology. Mm. You realize, hey, this trader on this book is not using a stop loss, mm. and this is what happened to him. You feel like, hey, this is me. Do you understand those type of things? So I feel like they tell you more on what, what, do's and don'ts. Okay, do you understand. But me, I'm fine with that. So <clears throat> now I just read books based on that uplifts me, like motivations. Mm. You understand? Like okay. finding your purpose. Yeah. Right? So yeah. those are the books that I read. Okay. And then we get to the charts right now. You yeah. sit down. <laughs> then I sit down, send the link to my students, right? Yeah. At, at eight. No, nine or eight? Nine. Yeah, at nine for London session. Send the link, live shooting session. Then we analyze from scratch. If those or who already woke up earlier, they already have a setup, then I tell them, just share your screen so we can look at it. Mm. And then put it on this. If it's a good setup, then put it on the side as part of our watch list for the day. Okay. Right? And then we put it on the side. We write it down. Those who want to write it down, then we have a watch list. And then we start waiting for the setups to play out. Remember, trading is a waiting game. Mm. You can analyze. one Within a minute, you're done analyzing or a few seconds. Me, it takes me a few, se <laughs> few seconds to analyze mm. or one minute, right? And then I move to the next one. And then after that, put it aside with my students that, okay, yeah, we have these setups for the day. Now let's wait and watch, yeah. right? And then we trade. Mm. That's what we do. Yeah, what setups do you particularly look for in your own personal trading? Me, I trade everything. Yeah. Like <laughs> everything. Like, okay. I don't have that thing of, I only trade five pairs. Mm. I trade everything. everything. Yeah. Like everything. Like 
all currency pairs. I think okay. there's 30 something of them, 31, 32. Mm. Not sure, but I trade all of them. Yeah. Like if you can see my trading view, there's all of them lining up. Okay. So I know each of each one of them are not not all of them are gonna have setups within a day. Yeah. Do you understand it? So that's why I trade everything. I know ones that I see that okay, these ones have setups for today. Mm. These ones don't have setup tip for today. So they're not gonna be on my watch list. But how do you manage that? Because I think it's based on experience. Experience, yes. yeah. Because you Cause find, when you're starting, you yeah. can't do that. You can't. Okay, yeah. That's where I want to go right now. Because when you're starting, hey, someone's watching. They're like, "Ah, Austin does it. How I, I can, can do, do it." it. <laughs> when you when you're starting, you can't do that. Okay. When you're starting, just focus on top five okay. pairs, because basically, when you're starting, you're also trying to master a strategy that you're learning. Do you understand? Mm. So focus on those five pairs, whatever or choose your top six or top five, focus on that. Once you get it right, you're going to realize that Ish, I'm bored. Mm. These pairs, I'm bored. I want to trade more. Mm. That's when you start saying, yeah, let me do top 10. Then you trade a top 10. You start knowing them very well. Then you're like, ah, let me add five more. Do you understand? Yeah. Then that's how you start. Tra- that's how I started trading everything. I didn't start from just everything mm. from the get go. I started small, like, I have, I have my top five that I trade, right? And then I move to, like, let me add this. Because I practice it, it looks good. Let me add. Then I start adding and adding and adding. Now I understand all the pairs and, like, and everything. Okay. Uh, what's your style of trading? Um, are you an aggressive trader? You're an aggressive trader? No. No, you're relaxed. I feel like, hey, that's a good question. Because the profits are aggressive. Yeah. But the loss is defensive. Mm. Do you understand? So I'm more like as a trader, I'm more as a trader. Every trader, if you want to like successful traders are more defensive and aggressive at the same time. That's mm. trading actually. Okay. As a trader, remember we are defending our accounts. Mm. We don't want to blow, mm. but we want to make money. Mm. Do you understand? So we need to be defensive. That's where the stop loss come in and risk management comes in. You need to be defensive at the same time, right? It's like going to war. Going to war, you are going to attack. Mm. Am I right? You are yeah. going to attack, right? But at the same time, do you notice that people in war, they have protected themselves. They have defensive and attacking at the same time. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right? So that's what I'm about. I'm attacking, which is I want to make money from the market, right? At the same time, I'm being very careful and I'm being defensive at the same time. Does it make sense? No, it makes a Do lot of sense. It? So I'm not like, so as you spoke about people doubling accounts, right, within a, like, no stop loss and stuff like that, those people are just attacking. Mm. You know what happens to a person in the world go without, um, what do you call this, In the back in the days it used to be shields most and stuff like that. Yeah. You know what will happen? Easily they get killed. Mm. That means an account will be easily blown, just like that. You're not being defensive. So if you're attacking, you need to be defensive at the same time. Soccer teams, they have strikers, they have defenders. Even though they are losing, they're still defending. Mm. Yeah, because they don't want to lose more. Mm. So the game is just be defensive and attack as well. Mm. Do you understand? That's yeah. where the stop loss comes in. Do <laughs> you see it? Yeah. So it's just like that. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, well put. Well put. So, uh, okay, so you say you trade everything. Uh, are, you, are, are you also like, uh, do you classify yourself as a, you know how some people like market maker, method, uh, SMC, trade. all those things. <laughs> me, I, honestly, me, I do the opposite of what everyone does. Okay. Yeah. Because mm. I don't know where I fit in. Yeah. Right. Because I've never like, how can I put it? I always study my own thing. Like I will see strategies and I'm like, Ah, this is a good strategy. But why did it hit stop loss? Mm. That's when I studied the charts and started refining things and doing more like of what uh, other traders are doing. Mm. Do you see it? So I don't really know where I fit. Some people say it's smart money. I'm like, ah, there's smart money, there's dumb money. So if I'm not part of the dumb money because it sounds very dumb, <laughs> it's fine if I'm a smart money. Yeah. Do you see it? No, so I see it. I think it's smart money. You think, yeah. But you just trade in the chart. <laughs> Doesn't need a name. Because I do the opposite of what everyone is doing. Okay. Like even my students will tell you that we do the opposite. Mm. Like we do the opposite. Okay. Like if, for example, people will always say, "Ah, you are crazy. 
we you must go with the trend. I'm like, no, I don't follow it. Mm. I see. So, so you so does. you so you feel like you're more of like a counter trade uh, trader. Yeah, like I I, no, I don't follow it. You don't follow it. You see, okay. that's what everyone does. That's what the market makers want you to do. Mm. Do you understand it? Mm. That's why, for example, not the bad mouth strategies, but let's say support and resistance. That's where we all start. But I always ask myself, why is everyone using this and we're not making money? Mm. Why? Do you understand it? Mm. So I always had that thing. Then I started, hey, I should study the charts more. Mm. Do you understand? Maybe there's some sort of manipulation. Then I realized that that's what <laughs> the market makers want you to do. Learn that because they know when they're going to manipulate it. That's why if you notice, people who use strategies, most strategies from YouTube, they make money, make money, lose it. Mm. Right? It's part of the psychology that is being done as well into those strategies. Mm. Right? It's more like I'm giving you a piece of a pie, eat. Mm -hmm. Right? Also, you have your own pie, which is your account. Right? It's more like you have an account. I'm giving you profits, but I know in real life I'm going to take your whole account. Mm. Do you understand? And the profits that you made. Do you understand? Uh, yeah. So that's why it's, that's where manipulation comes in in the charts. That's why you need to be very careful as well. Right? And apply, like, study the charts. Why? Me, I'm that type of a person. I want to know why I'm wrong. Okay. That's how I improve. Mm. I'm not going to blame the market and be like, ah, it's the news. Mm. That's what most traders do. I mean, <laughs> ah, it's the news. I didn't know. Do you understand? Find out why that happened. Study the chart. Study your strategy. Why does it happen? Should I stop trading the news? Or did I make certain mistake or something? Study that. Do you understand? That's how you're going to improve. Don't blame the strategy, but refine the strategy. Do you understand? You can treat support and resistance and other stuff, right? If you see on certain times they're not working out, just be like, what is it that it's doing wrong? Try by all means to see what's going wrong with it and then try to refine it. Try to see certain patterns that make these losses happen. Try to see certain patterns that make wins happen. Do you understand? And then stick to the wins. Do you understand it? Simple as that. Mm. That's what I do. Okay. Like I study it and see yeah. that, hey, stop loss. Why though? Mm. Everything is correct. Like why? Study it. But mm. now I'm fine. I've studied the charts <laughs> now. <laughs> so my students, students have basically have a refined information that okay. they have. Uh, you, do you have a trading plan? Yeah. Okay. No, that's good. No, people don't. <laughs> you just feel like, hey, I'm fine now. <laughs> mm. I do yeah. have a trading plan. Yeah. I don't want to lose more than uh, 6 to 7% in a day. Mm -hmm. right? But I know that's just a, um, a, a a number that I put for myself, which is 6 to 7. But mm. I know I stop at 4 and 5. Okay. Do you understand yeah. it? No, so good. I stop at 4 and 5 mm. for the day. If I see, hey, I lost 4%, I'm done trading. Mm. Do you understand? So that's me. But I know that one trade or two trades will probably make me 10, 20%. Yeah. Minimum, somewhere around there. <laughs> I see. <laughs> uh, what's your biggest, uh, can I call it your biggest loss? Biggest loss? Not, not, and mm. I always clarify to yeah. people, you know, not in terms of monetary terms, but just your mm. biggest loss where you felt like you lost more than just... I think the biggest loss was... When was it again? I forgot when, mm -hmm. but it's not this year. I think it was 2021. Okay. Um, it was, no, it was 2020. 2020 or 2021, I'm not sure. Yeah. But it was around, um, I use a euro account, so it was around 12 to 15,000 euros. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was around, that's the biggest loss. Yeah, but why? Mm -hmm. Why? So what happened is that it went my direction. Okay. Right. It went my direction, and I was like, ah, it's going to go. Like, I'm in deep profit, like yeah. deep profits. I'm like, ah, it can go. Do you understand? And then I moved stop loss, like, into profit, but not on all s trades. Okay. Like, I didn't know why I didn't do it on all trades, right? And then I ignored the charts. I'm thinking that everything is, like, put into profit, so if it does come back, it doesn't matter, mm. right? To find out that some pairs, uh, trades, that I didn't put stop loss into profit. Mm. And I remember the pay was Euro AUD. <laughs> it made very well. Yeah, it pains right? you. Because <laughs> it pains me. Yeah. Right? And then what happened is that I think um, 
when it was almost gonna hit TP, mm -hmm. like it turned like exactly a TP, yeah. right? Like it turned, you know how the market is. Because <laughs> exactly a TP, that's where I was aiming. Okay. Right? And then it turned almost at TP. Yeah. That's where I knew it's gonna like go up from. Okay. Right. Me, I'm ignoring the charts. I'm like, ah, it's gonna hit TP. I'm done trading for the day. I didn't look at the charts, nothing. And then here around later during the day, I'm like, okay, yeah, uh, let me go withdraw. Let me first see the money that's in there so I can see how much I can withdraw. Hey boy, red. Hey boy, didn't <laughs> <laughs> and I was like shocked, like hey boy. Yeah. What's going on here? Didn't I put like um stop plus stop plus into then I saw that I'm man, I only did it on two pairs. Sure. Like on two trades. Two, two trades, yeah. On other ones, ah, red. Mm. <laughs> so so was the lesson to be learned from that? Mm? Was the lesson to yeah. be learned? My the lesson was that I always make sure, like even now now I trade, mm -hmm. I enter trades, I always make sure that the stop loss is written there. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. Stop loss is written there because I don't want the market to, let's say, fly the opposite direction like it did back then. Mm. You see, because this was a mistake that I made. And then I lost, I think in rands, I don't know how much it was, but yeah, yeah it was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even want to calculate it on how much it was in rands. <laughs> Do you see? Yeah. But that was the biggest loss. Mm -hmm. But after that, I, I, I made it back. Okay. I made it, yeah, I made it even more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, talking okay, about making more. it even more, what has been your most memorable moment on the charts? Like, or your most memorable trade to date? Most memor memorable trade was NASDAQ, mm -hmm. right? It was NASDAQ, and I was risking 5,000 Rand, which is part of those small percentage, right? And then I came out with, I think it was seven, uh, 715 thousand it was forty thousand euros can i check on my phone <laughs> wait <laughs> they just want to check my man's like i got receipts for you <laughs> hey, i just want to check but this was um in 2021 okay i believe so yeah right so it, that was the trade it was a nasdaq trade okay yeah, it was 40,000 euros. Let me just, I just want to check. I have yeah. to. <laughs> I have to. You don't want to be speaking things that mm -hmm. are not there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just, it's under my favorite, so it's not yeah. far. Yeah, it's around here. So that was the best trade. <laughs> no, it's a small video. <laughs> it was just under iCloud mm. stuff, so oh. it will take oh, a long yeah. to load. But here is it, man. Yeah. Like it's, yeah, it's 40,000 euros. Which is around 700,000 rand. Hmm. Right. How much is it? Today. Today's oh, that's today's time. Yeah, that's, that's today's yeah. time. Yeah, that's but today's, back yeah. then it was 715,000 hmm. rand. Yeah. Around then. Around then. But I don't count that 15. Yeah, I was like, focus <laughs> on the big number. <laughs> I was focused on the big number, but yeah. that was the trade. That was yeah. the biggest one. Right, yeah. it was Nasdaq. So what do you say to people who are like now la 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 bank la pigisayo basically? Um yo, sorry, that's speak English. Mm. What do you say to people who are like, nah, that's fake, that's photoshopped? Me, I know it reflected in my bank. Yeah. So I'm not gonna argue with anyone. <laughs> okay. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's me, man. Like me, I'm I'm not the person who if you're saying ah it's not true, it's fine. Me, I know it's true. Because yeah. I'm a person who doesn't lie to myself. Okay. Do you understand? Because I feel like that's bad as well. A lot of people have like have been lying to themselves mm. and they believe the lies. You see it. <laughs> you see it. So yeah. me, I'm a person who like if I see that day you you're lying to yourself, I start by nah. Can't hang around you if you lie too much. Mm. <laughs> it's gonna affect me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Yeah. So that's nah, me. So nah. if so, me, I'm a person who like I always have receipts, man. Mm. Like we say, me, I'm a person who show you, hey, here's the thing. Yeah. I don't have time to lie. Yeah. <laughs> you see? Yeah, we've got receipts for you on the <laughs> screen over there. We made sure we'll, we made sure to get the video as you well. See? So uh, yeah. So that was that. No, well, that was that. Sure. Yes, that's what, that what, was the Okay, beast. what what was the trade, though? Uh, I think why I want to ask, because uh, your risk was 5,000... Um, mm. Rand. Rands. Rands. 5,000 rands to 40,000 mm. euros. Remember I told you I risked this to make more? Sure. 
<laughs> thing is, I want. I, I need a breakdown of 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 the trade. You know, because so your risk, my stop loss is tight. It's tight. You keep it I tight. Don't, I don't you use, keep it tight. Stop I don't loss. use fifty pip stop loss. Okay, letting a trade things. run. Let's talk about that because you let it run, but you say you didn't sleep that day, mm. right? Yeah, because <laughs> I opened it. Um, I think during the day, mm-hmm. and it kept going, mm. right? So I saw where it's gonna like go long term but i was like hey, me i'm fine here okay you understand because i don't know what's going to happen the next day during the new york session mm. right so i was like i when it gets here i just want to exit but now i thought it's going to reach there maybe at night but hey it kept going in the am <laughs> so i'm awake <laughs> do you understand so you're here watching this thing mm-hmm. so but i did put stop loss like into profit and yeah. then just like let it go i'm watching it i'm watching it and i took a video because I remember I was private when it comes to pro- posting my results, okay. right? Even that video, it's not on social media. Yeah. Uh, People I was private. see it first, yeah. <laughs> they see it, yeah. <laughs> they understand it. Yeah. Because I was, after 2020, after making money, right, I've met a couple of business people, mm. right? Then I realized, these guys are private. Yeah. Do you understand? And they're happy. And they're not showing how much they're making. Do you understand? And then they were like, ah, we see you, the social media, you're making so much money, blah, blah, blah. And they were like, you need to be more private. Do you understand? Because people like pocket watch. Mm. Do you understand it? So be private more. Like don't show everything. Do you understand? Be more private. Like in terms of, let's say, show profits there and there, not every time. Mm. Right? That's when I was like, then they asked me a good question. They were like, have you ever seen a lawyer showing their pay slip? I was like, no, actually. <laughs> Why are you showing your money online? <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? Then they like they they more like they lectured me. Okay. You understand? And then I was like, yeah, you guys make sense. Like in terms of privacy as well, mm. safety as well. You understand? Like they they broke it down for me to a point of, now nah, I'm done posting. That's enough motivation. You understand? But the results that are there already, that's enough motivation. Mm. Then I was like, nah. It's true, like for safetyness. And then after our, I got like after I stopped posting, and then obviously other traders post a lot. And then I, there was a time in in the, I think around here in Joburg where hey, forex traders were being attacked. Yeah, oh, yeah, I remember. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember that. The time me, I'm like, yo, thank God I'm private now. Yeah. Do you understand? Because people will pocket watch. Mm. Oh, today you made this much. Okay. But next week, you make this much, okay, that means he has money. Then the, you understand bad mm. things happen. You understand? <clears throat> then I started being private in terms of, like, what I post and all those things. Mm. Like, I don't show everything. And I feel like I'm fine with it. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm fine with it. I don't have to show you results now. Yeah. I just show my students. <laughs> you but I'm private as well, even with them. I just show them the entries. Okay. Do you understand? I don't want pocket watch. Yeah. You're okay. <laughs> it's good. I feel like it's a good thing, man. Like mm. every time we are screenshotting, screenshotting, hey me, I, I there are good trades, like very good trades and very good amount of profits that I'll make. And I no longer screenshot because I'm already created that habit mm. of nah don't what are you gonna do with this? Do you understand? It's nothing new. I can screenshot the it's nothing new here. Yeah, it's nothing it's got it, and I'll and I also got bored out of it, mm. like always. Screenshot, screenshot, yeah. screenshot. Always, yeah. always. always. <laughs> I, I came to a point of, I'm just going to show my student results if people want to know my work based mm. on me being a mentor. Okay. That's like, that's my evidence mm. of my work. Mm. That's my effort. I'm just going to show my student results on how they're doing. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah, no. So that's when I told myself that ah, I'm going to stop posting. You're okay. <laughs> if you want to know how good I am and all those things, I have reflections. I have students who's mm. going to tell you, do you understand it? And who's going to show you that, yeah, ah, this guy is working, do you understand? Yeah. And we are working. <laughs> <laughs> no, perfect, perfect, sure. No, thank you so much for today's conversation. Uh, uh, I had fun. I learned, uh, I learned quite a bit. Uh, and I hope you guys learned as well as home. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting here with Austin. Yo, you said your whole name. Yes, I didn't hear the whole name. I need, I, I need, I, I need a breakdown. Yo. You need a breakdown of my whole name. <laughs> no, the second one. What's the second one? Sibabalwe. Oh, Sibabalwe. Okay, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, we so Austin, Sibaba yeah. Hale, yeah, yeah, and the last one, uh, <laughs> Changana. No, Changana. Yeah, no, that's that's close. I yeah. Nah, I'm doing close. I'm like, hey, close, doing close. I couldn't even hear. I can't hear even the clicks. You see, they they weak. <laughs> Yeah, no, thank you so much, bro. Uh, it's thank you for your time. Uh, um, I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys take away something from this. And I hope this makes you guys better traders yeah. as well. And better people and as be well. Be patient, man. With yeah. Your, like in terms of trading, be patient. Mm. Some people think it happens overnight or over two months or three months. It's just like any other thing in life, like like educational courses, like mm. Being a lawyer, it takes a couple of years. Yeah. Being a doctor, it takes a couple of years. Because I feel like the reason why it takes so long is because once you know it, there's no turning back. You yeah. know it. Now the way forward is just you. If you're a lawyer, dealing with your clients and court cases. Mm. If you're a doctor, dealing with your patients. Doing what you know. Mm. Now imagine you want to be a successful trader over two months. You don't have much experience yet to yeah. understand it. You're not going to have much experience. So you need to be too experienced as well. You need to make mistakes. It's fine to make mistakes, but they are there to grow you. Mm. Mistakes are not bad things these days because we learn from them. We mm. grow from them to not do it again. Mm. Do you understand? So that's what makes successful traders, man. We grow from our mistakes, we lose money, but the main goal is to make money. I, f I always This is how I always portray my, my journey in everything. Like, it's like an uptrend. Mm -hmm. You know, uptrend have highs, yes. and then it goes lower. Yeah. <laughs> but if you notice the direction is up, we're going to have ups and downs, mm. just like an uptrend. Uptrend is not always straight. You have ups, down. Because when we get to a certain level, we reach new experience that we've never experienced before. Mm. That means we're going to go down. Mm. When we go down, we now experience on what happened before. We need to get better, better than... Uh, when we reach there, when we reach that point, we we had a certain experience, so we need to get better. Then we go up again. Now we're going up with experience mm. because we saw what happened. So that's how I portrayed how I move. Yeah, you see, it's like an uptrend. I make mistakes, learn from them, go go up. Make mistakes at a new certain level, go down. Now I'm experiencing that new level, go up. Direction is up. Mm. Have ups and downs, but the direction must be up. Let your life be an uptrend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Shada, for coming. And yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, Austin's Probably. details will be down below in the description below. Yeah. Also, guys, make sure you sign up an account with OctaFX, our sponsor, and also for them making this possible as well. Appreciate you guys at OctaFX. And guys, appreciate you guys, the viewers, guys, for making us. Uh, thank you for 70,000 subscribers. We just hit the game. Now we're on the road to 100k subscribers. So comment down below, road to 100k subscribers, and we're going to give away uh some merchandise from our sponsor from us we'll send it through to you guys we'll pick one guy and then we'll let you guys know on social media thank you guys so much for watching it's myself and we'll Tambani from top trader south africa and we'll see you guys in the same time same place next week and we out